machine guns being one of the go-to weapons when it comes to close quarter battles, you will be right if you believe they aren't the trend anymore. Humans have advanced, and technology is not hitting a pause just yet. Enemies and villains now adorn themselves with body armor, and the submachine guns do not fire pistol rounds that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this. On realization, manufacturers like Colt decided to design 10.3-inch barreled M4-style carbines to up their games, and as such, short carbines became the next real deal. While they are superior in almost all considered factors, they have their downside. Short carbines are like empty barrels when it comes to their loudness, and despite the improvement, are still quite large. Here is where the HNK MP7 comes in. Welcome back to the US Marines channel. Let us figure out the specs of the HK MP7 and what makes it the Special Forces' favorite submachine gun. The HNK MP7, also known as the Machine and Pistole 7, was designed by Heckler & Co., a German defense manufacturer, to serve as a PDW, or personal defense weapon, chambered for the HK 4.6 by 30 millimeter armor-piercing cartridge. Alongside the new cartridge, the HK MP7 was manufactured following NATO's 1989 requirements, requesting a larger capacity SMG kind of weapon that could beat Kevlar body armor hands down. In short, it had to be better than the submachine guns in existence that use 45 ACP and 19 by 19 millimeter Carabellum as pistol cartridges. When in 2001, Heckler & Co. started the production of the MP7, it was the FN P90 head-to-head -head rival. The FNP-90 was also designed by FN Herstal, a Belgian company following NATO's requirements. The MP-7 has gone through re-modification since its introduction and now exists in different variants, with the MP-7A1 and MP-7A2 being the latest, each with its own specs. Guns firing pistol ammunition, like the USP pistol and the MP-5 submachine gun by Heckler & Co., has been rendered ineffective with the introduction of light body armor, which despite being cheap is quite effective. To counteract this development, the HK MP7 was designed to defile the integrity of soft body armor and replace a submachine gun or a pistol given its small size. A UCP pistol was also designed and it shared similar ammunition. Short carbines do their jobs quite well, except when it comes to extreme close quarters battles, where MP7 will be a better option due to its significantly smaller platform. MP7 is but 5 pounds in weight and 25.1 inches in length with an extended stock. It is a fit for quite a number of roles, and its mechanism is similar to an SMG despite being placed in the PDW firearm category, personal defense weapon. If one needs to pave the way in tunnels, go up a ladder, or board a ship, the MP7 is preferred to a rifle as it does the job with little stress. It can work with a hand while climbing, and can be employed by K9 handlers. Its small size gives it an upper hand when compared with the shortest 5.56 carbines, and frankly, it'll be quite hard to find its replacement in that niche. The MP7 provides higher control, power, and range when compared with a pistol. Nonetheless, it is easier to handle and carry than traditional rifles. As standard, it comes with attached rear iron sights, folding four, and a full-length top-mounted Picatinny rail. You get to see a resemblance to partridge style open sights when its sights are folded flat, but aperture sights when folded up. However, these sights can be easily detached if you lift them off after removing just a screw. The sides of the barrel can hold extra rails, making it possible to place optic sights, regular or commercial, tactical flashlights, laser aiming modules, and a suppressor. There's also no need to worry about the MP7 fire rate or precision as its suppressor doesn't affect it. It boasts 950 rounds per per minute as its cyclic rate of fire. It replaces the blowback system normally used in submachine guns with the one used in HK416 and HKG36, a short stroke piston gas system. It provides a low recoil and its 4.6 by 30 millimeter ammunition is the gun's special specification. This ammunition is one of a kind when it comes to SMGs as the bullet is not like the usual soft copper or lead, but like a hardened steel penetrator from
from which it is almost entirely made. The pistol grip of the MP7 can be fitted with a conventional 20, 30, or 40 round box magazine. Regarding size, the 20 round magazine can be compared to a 15 round 9 by 19 millimeter magazine, while the 40 round magazine can be compared to a 30 round 9 by 19 millimeter magazine. It also comes with a magazine release, a bolt catch lever, and a fire selector, which is ambidextrous. Its folding front grip can't be found in the MP7A2 variants as it is exclusive to the MP7 and MP7A1 alongside the extendable stock. You can get to its firing with two hands or just one. With the use of polymers in its production, the MP7 is light and compact. It also uses a spritzer style projectile, leaving it pointy and giving it a resemblance to a rifle round. It is, however, lighter and really smaller than the rounds of many pistols. The powder has enough room due to the long casing, and that empowers the projectile, letting it move at about 2,500 feet each second. Thus, it has more speed than all traditional pistol rounds. This boost in speed, alongside its spritzer style projectile, enables easy access of the MP7's cartridge to solid barriers and soft armor. On hitting its target, the 4.6 millimeter projectile gives off almost the same amount of energy one will get from a 9 millimeter round. More so, the round comes with a lesser recoil, granting simpler access to auto control of the weapon. Truly, a 9 millimeter round can exert its effect through about 100 yards if the shooter is a pro. However, the 4.6 millimeter round offers double so no stress. The U.S. Navy's Naval Special Warfare Development Group fancied the MP7. It gives them a short and easy to control weapon that can be used in extreme close quarters missions. Pulling down ships is one of the things the SEALs do, and even the shortest carbine doesn't seem like a good fit. The SEAL Team 6 was known to have carried an HK MP7 to raid Bin Laden. He ended up being killed by the HK 416D, but the HK MP7 was part of their weapons. The HK MP7 is also employed by other special ops forces. Russia, Austria, Norway, Japan, France, Bruni, Australia, and others also use this weapon. It can be seen with the U.S. police agencies, particularly the SWAT teams. A pistol's place as a sidearm cannot be entirely taken as long as there's a need for sidearms, and submachine guns with pistol ammunition will also be relevant for many more years. Nonetheless, weapons like the H&K MP7 will keep being their significant other. Let us know what you think of this weapon in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, click on the next for another informative piece of content.